crude oil markets and the natural gas markets, you can see WTI reached the $60 level before pulling back during the trading session on Friday. OPEC has released an announcement that they are going to cut production by an additional half a million uh, barrels a day. And that was pretty much priced into the market. So we have reacted, as you would expect, at the top of the range. We've pulled back. I think we're more likely than not to drop from here. I'm not looking for a meltdown. I just think that we're probably going to stay in this overall range. Natural gas markets continue to saw back and forth. Right now, we're just above this trend line. I do think that we'll get a pop from here. We're, we're right here at this gap. The trend line meets here. I've been talking about that previously, how this area had to hold, and it did so far. I think we'll try to consolidate here. If we break down through this trend line, then we're going to go to 220 and 2. This is the wrong time of year to be betting like that because it's only going to take one really strong weather report, and the next thing you know, we're up 20 cents. So... Um, Discretion is a better part of valor, I suppose. But at this point, uh, the moving averages will be targeted eventually, uh, and then two eighty and three dollars.